there are several alternatives available, not just in terms of the practice of aquaculture, but also in our substantive understanding. We've seen, well, decades of farmer suicides, right? I mean, lacks of them dying um, of their own volition because their chosen profession is no longer viable, is not keeping them alive now. I'm just talking about the ways in which our nation state has made decisions for a particular sector of the economy, which is not really a sector, but a way of life. Centralization consolidation has actually suffocated four of the most leading sectors in this country. Millets are not like rice and wheat. You can't just stand up and say, pay obeisance to a McDonald burger 50 years older than you. Ensuring that women in the local areas, especially, get processing facilities. Work on processing for what? For local value networks. This is a complete transformation with subnational policy actors that is happening today. You will engage with other community-based organizations, but you have to bring them on board. You have to dialogue with them, get them to understand that what we're doing now is only going to strengthen our hands if we see them as something beyond just, well, primary producers then we will have a completely different world view of agriculture. All they need is a little support, a little patience and hearing from their local state governments. Why are we again talking about our difficulty to, to learn from these policy experiments? We are still holding out, thankfully, against the new fundamentals of growth that have been imposed on us since the 1950s. Indian agriculture is still holding out against the new fundamentals of growth that have been imposed on us. We have to find ways of engaging with our nature, that is ecosystems first, farming in the environment, not versus the environment. Watch the full video on India Inclusive YouTube channel.